If you need to manage different Twitter profiles by just one single platform and one single Twitter account, this video is for you. On the other hand, if you're working in a team, at what you need is a lot of different kind of people to manage one profile of Twitter without sharing your password, this video is perfect for you too. We are going to learn how to use TweetDeck, an application created by Twitter that is totally for free, with which you can manage your accounts, with which you can publish and program content for the future, future and save a lot of time in a really easy way. The only thing that you need is having log in your own Twitter account, the, the Twitter account that you normally use or that you want to use for managing this, accessing to tweetdeck.twitter.com. And as soon as you do so, you are going to see different kind of columns in this platform. Each column allows you to see, for example, different kind of information such as notifications, such as your activities, such as your home page, your home feed, everything that you have already programmed and scheduled for being published in the future. And you can select as much colors as you want, adding whatever you need to see. For example, you can see your mission in one column. You can see um, what your followers do or what are the new followers that you are acquiring by using this column, your likes, whatever it works for you. Apart from this, the most important thing is that by just one TweetDeck account, you can not just manage the Twitter account that you have already open, but you can use other by using the same specific um, TweetDeck profile. And you can also add different team members for them to manage each of these accounts by just including here the name of the team member, you are going to see that they are going to appear and you can easily give them all the permission for them to be able to admin your accounts. But what is the most important aspect that we normally have in order to use TweetDeck is the method of programming content or tweets for the future. And for doing this, the only thing that you need is to click in this button, okay? And you just need to select the specific account that you want to use for publishing. Just copy and paste or create if you have not prepared so the tweets or the, the text of your caption. And the only thing that you need is to click here if you want to add some multimedia uh, content, such as, for example, this video that we are going to use or whatever image or gallery comprised of different kind of archives that you need. Once you have done so, click on a scheduled tweet, because with this, you just need to select the specific moment in which you want to publish this, the specific, sorry, the specific day and date. And just with this, you are going to notice that it is going to be really, really easy to create and program your content. Once you have already done so, okay, you have already created the tweet, the only thing that you need is to see all of them in this specific column if you have created so, which is the schedule, um, the schedule one. Let me do this. And as soon as we Enter again. We are going to see that we have one specific tweet ready for the publication tomorrow. Well, I hope this has worked for you and this has been interesting for you to learn how to save time on your social media. Thanks for watching. Yeah.